All right, so today we're going to be talking about logical operators. And so far we discussed arithmetic operators, the plus, minus, divide, and multiply. We've talked about the uh, relational operators. We've uh, greater than, less than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, and so on. And finally, we now get to our logical operators. So I wanted to cover if statements and else statements before we talk about logical operators because that's where we actually use them. So I'm going to create a quick if statement over here. Um, so first, let me initialize a variable. I'm going to do another age. And if age is greater than 13, print, you are eligible for Facebook. So again, this is the same example we used before, but I want to show you something here. So let's say I am, I have this fantastic if statement, okay? If age is greater than 13, print, you are eligible for Facebook, everything works and it's fine. What if I wanted to check for more than one condition in my if statement? For example, if the age is greater than 13 and his name starts, or if his name is Avi, then he's eligible for Facebook. If his name is not Avi, then he's not eligible for Facebook. How does that work? Well, this is where uh, logical operators come in. What we can do is we can say if age is greater than 13 and um, the second, second uh, uh, condition. So if age is greater than 13 and name is equal to Avi, I know we haven't initialized the name variable yet, but that's fine. Um, print out, you are eligible for Facebook. Eligible. So it's an error, error, name is not defined, and so on. But here I just wanted to show you how you can use logical operators in if and else statements to add more than one condition in the same line. So let's quickly uh, cover what uh, logical operators there are. There's actually two, AND and OR. So for AND to work, for AND to return true, condition one and condition two must return true. It can't be that this one is false and this one's true, or this one is false and this one, I'm not sure what I'm saying. So it can't be this one is true and this one is false, or this one is true and this one is false. Both the conditions must return true for the statement to work. However, with OR, let's go ahead and initialize um, a name. I'm going to call myself Bob. So let's go ahead and bring this statement down. If age is greater than 13, or, does the letter change? Yes. If age is greater than 13, or name is equal to Avi, print eligible. Now, if you notice, it prints out eligible. And you're probably wondering, well, name isn't equal to Avi. How is this working? This is the case with OR. With OR, it doesn't matter which condition is true as long as one condition is true. For example, age is greater than 13. My age is 14, 14 is greater than 13. However, name is false. This, this condition returns false. But since there is a true, since this condition is true, no matter what the case is for the second one, this can be true or false, we will get, print, we'll get the eligible statement printed out. So this is the thing with AND and OR logical operators. You can use them in your if statements, else statements, wherever you want, but they allow you to add more and more conditions to what you already have. Um, whenever you're creating an app or whenever you're doing Python coding, if you have multiple conditions you need to check to, you can do it all in one line. All right, so this is basically what I want to cover for this lecture, and now we're finally done with operators, and I'll see you in the next lecture.